Now you may recognize this plant because I had this plant come in in one of my plant hauls and I forgot had what it was because I've been really into these like fleshy cucumber plants, but I can't always remember the name of the genus of species, but this is Neoalsometra sarcophylla. And sarcophylla, sarco means fleshy and phylla means leaves. And if you look really closely on the leaves, you could see that they do have a little bit more of fleshy leaves. And that kind of cucumber plant that, you know, sets out these fleshy succulent leaves is kind of cool. I'm like really into them right now. Now you could see that this is starting to tendril, really dainty and delicate. If this doesn't tendril onto something, it actually just dies back. The tendril just dies back. So you wanna make sure that it has something that it could grow up on. Here, I'll give you this example. See this one? This little tendril has already kind of dried up and dried back. So I have this actually now in my southwest facing window and it's growing around my other plants. I do believe that this might actually be a little bit more of a deciduous plant, although I have not had it long enough in order to be able to um, tell you as such. But you can see that it has a little bit more of a woody stem and a woody base down here. And I'm growing this in very something's very similar to what the grower was probably growing this in, which is a bit more of a rocky perlite mixture. So because of the fleshy nature of these uh, stems and these leaves, I don't wanna be giving this too much water. Now I should say that this plant is native to, I think Vietnam, Thailand, Laos, Bangladesh, that kind of area. And I would be curious as to where it's actually growing natively because I would imagine it has to grow up on some kind of trees. Maybe it's growing up in some kind of um, more rocky or forest system. And uh, so if you're growing this plant or if you have experience with it or you have experience with it growing natively in your home country, let me know in the comments below because inquiring minds want to know and I'd love to know a little bit more about this plant because I don't know that much more about it. Um, I am growing it in full sun though. I don't know if I mentioned that, but it is growing in my southwest facing window and it loves it. So obviously could handle that kind of light. It's not getting chlorotic or anything in that kind of way. And um, like I said, if I, if I know this plant from the standpoint of like I'm growing other tropical cucumbers, they tend to go um, dormant in the winter months. So I expect that of this plant as well. Um, other way, cool plant, can't, complain about it. I haven't had any kind of pest pressures on it. I've had thrips in that kind of area of my house, but it doesn't seem to be interested in this plant. So I have to say that it might actually be um, a little bit less susceptible to uh, typical house plant pests, if you will.